what's going on everyone so today we're going to be doing the rad test with the magic cycle this is a 52 volt electric bicycle with a 15 amp hour battery and this thing has some really good power today's video we're going to be testing out the speed of this bike and a few different pas levels talk about some of the settings in the display that you can change which is really nice and intuitive easy to understand and adjust and more than anything the power of this bike so we're going to be going up some hills today testing out the power and all kind of things in this video it's going to be a probably a long one wasn't meant to be a range test better get off the road for these cars coming wasn't really meant to be a range test but might end up going a pretty decent distance today so we'll see how well the battery holds up i'm starting out here at a full charge got my accessories on here to carry all my gear around with me now they do give you a bag to put up here it's a top tube frame bag i like these lower profile ones that go down over the frame because they don't hit this when you're turning the wheel um, so I used this bag from, that I already had, the, but like I said, the bag they gave you is really nice for that. My water bottle holder here, I have above the mounts here just because I just strapped it on real quick. That's the, the uh, one I use on some of my other bikes, so I didn't really want to uh, unbolt it and bolt it on there right now. I just wanted to throw this together quick and get out there because it's a nice day. This is a new bag I got, really nice bag, guys. Um, 30 bucks I believe somewhere around there on Amazon if you guys are interested this does not have the flip down panniers but it is a really nice padded bag and uh, I think that's about it guys let's get into the the test so let me show you guys real quick here the display this display is really sweet looking it's it's Keller display shows you your battery level up top and percentage you can go in the menu and change that to actually show you the vol voltage instead of percentage which is really nice shows you a power level there of how much power you're outputting now that power level meter only goes up to 900 watts once it hits 900 it quits i'm sure this bike's putting out more than 900 watts that's the the only thing i wish that would have actually showed you the true wattage and not stopped at 900 a nice display for your miles per hour as well as a circle that comes around here until you hit 30 miles per hour trip odometer pas level and this bike comes factory set at seven different levels but you can go in and adjust that to change it i believe from three let's go ahead into the display and show you guys what i'm talking about here how intuitive it is so you can see there are nice colored options that actually tell you what you're changing but if you go down here to the advanced and go into there you can see it's set at zero to seven you could change it from zero to three all the way up to zero to nine so you could change many different levels we're going to leave it on zero to seven for now just because that's how it came factory to try it out another thing i want to mention is you can go in here and change your levels of each pedal assist which i already did because one was set at 40 it seemed a little bit too fast so i knocked it down to 30 and two still seems a little fast so i'm actually going to change that down to let's say 40 instead of 50 and then whoa, i guess we'll just leave the rest the same but like i said the first two i did bump down 10 percent each just to get it down to a slower speed that's just what i like and how i prefer and that's what's really nice that you can adjust this to fit your needs that's what's nice about them big tires too it comes right up over obstacles easily we're gonna go up this hill here and test it out but uh, you can adjust this really easily to your needs and in this test i want to mention that i'm just about five foot eight and 165 pounds so this is the hill that i try all my tests on first first normally we're going to see how this thing does with throttle only if we could take us to the top so far so good guys 11 miles per hour nine miles per hour back up to 10 really good guys right up at no problem with just the throttle oh another thing i want to mention is i'm in pedal assist zero guys look at this and the throttle still works that is awesome i wish all bikes would do this i know some places it might be illegal depending on um, if it's class one class two uh, class three but it is nice being able to have the throttle work in pas zero and it also works in all the pas levels so that's really a big bonus in my book because if you want to just pedal like a normal bike and just use the throttle as needed you have it and if you're in any pas level when you hit that throttle it's there full throttle no matter what level you're in and don't forget i will put a coupon code down below in the description 
of this video if you guys are interested in picking one of these up it's for a hundred dollars off which currently as of the time of me filming this video you can get this bike for $1,250, but this one is currently on back order and is supposed to be shipping next month. The other model they do have in stock, and I believe you can get it for $1,300 right now with my coupon code, which in my opinion is a great deal. Another thing I wanted to mention is they was nice enough to send me this bike for testing, uh, testing and review, so keep that in mind. But as always, we're gonna put it through its paces and see how it performs, the good and the bad. Brakes are working pretty good so far downhill. There was some adjustment there that I had to make on the brakes. Um, it did take me a little while to get them adjusted. No big deal though, I have to do that on all my e-bikes when I get them. Usually, very rarely do they come out of the box and don't need adjustment and work perfect. So just keep that in mind. Feel like I should have been maybe using two brakes there on both sides. Kind of hard to do when you're holding a GoPro in one hand though, guys. And sounds like the back might be rubbing slightly on the brakes. I still might have some adjustments to do there. So let's switch hands here. Bump it up into some different PAS levels. All right, now I'm in PAS one, just pedaling. And being that I bumped that down 10% to I believe 30, the PAS one speed is right at about eight miles an hour. So that's perfect in my opinion. PAS2 now that I bumped it down to 40%. All right guys, we're in pedal assist two. And you can see there, it's a little jerky to start, but you can go in the settings and program that also. Right now it's set for the fastest start, but you can go in there and program that down so it's a little more gradual, but that also makes your throttle more gradual too. So PAS2 is looking like around 11 miles per hour. Now we're gonna bump it up to three, and I didn't change that one, so that one's probably gonna be a lot faster. And I'm actually going uphill here slightly uh 16 miles per hour 14 and that was slightly uphill so but like i said these levels i mean you guys can go in and change them you can put it to whatever you want percentage wise however many levels you want so it's almost pointless for me to go over each level but we will go over a max speed uh, and see how fast the bike is but i'm going to switch over to the chest mount gopro for that because uh, I wanna be able to hang on with two hands. <laughs> All right guys, so we're gonna be going up this pretty long hill here. We're gonna see how well it does. I'm in pedal assist two, but I'm gonna use the throttle as needed and see how well it takes me up this long hill. And so far, pretty good. Now, one thing I did notice about this bike is the motor is a little bit noisy. I mean, it, I wouldn't say it's too much noisier than most of my other bikes but maybe slightly Whew, the truck almost took my GoPro out <laughs> yeah guys right up around there no problem 14 miles an hour 15 16 17 so gaining the speed now guys and I am in the highest gear gear 7 which right now I feel like this is about where I'd want to be pedaling. I think anything faster than this is going to be a little bit too much like I'm like a hamster wheel kind of. But this is throttle only guys. I do have it unlocked to go 28 miles per hour and I'm hitting 23 on the GPS. 24 back to 23 and it's showing 24 on the display, 24, 25. So this is just throttle only guys, 26. And I was gonna do this with two hands on the handlebars, but that was a pretty decent stretch there. So I'm actually surprised that it got up that quick with just throttle. I thought for sure this bike would be limited at 20 miles per hour like most bikes and then you would be able to reach a higher speed with pedal assist only, but the speed was pretty good with just the uh, just the throttle, guys. All right, going up another hill here. And I'm in gear seven, I'm gonna downshift a little bit. So I slowed down a little bit there, about 10 miles per hour. Still pulling me up pretty good. I'll tell you what, guys, this is gonna be a good comparison to some of my other bikes. 
I, I can't wait to put it head to head with the uh, snap cycle bike that I just got because it's pretty comparable in specs other than the 52 volt uh, battery which should give it more power than the snap cycle but we'll have to do further testing later on and put those head to head side by side and see which one has more more power and more torque all right guys i'm gonna go i'm gonna ride for a little bit i'll be back right now we're 3.76 miles into the trip according to gps and according to the the meter on the bike it's 3.5 so you're gonna have slightly more miles at the factory setting i believe the tire set at 28 inches in the display which i think can also be changed but uh you're gonna have a little bit more miles out of the battery than you think if you're using the display of the bike all right guys so we're gonna go into pet just pedal assist five now with no throttle and see how or actually seven and see how fast it is and i'm just turning the pedals i'm not putting any effort in at all 29 but that was downhill slightly this is leveling out going back uphill slightly 27 28 very easy to maintain 27 to 28 on level ground for sure this is uphill still down to 22 back downhill let's see where it cuts uh, right around 27 to 28 I can feel it cut out hopefully the winds not too much for you guys pretty nice so far really liking it I'm not usually a fan of like super big bikes but this one is I really like it it's really comfortable I've not been over very far and I haven't had to modify anything other than tilting the handlebars down slightly because of the higher rise when you tilt them back you'll have less reach which way do I want to go let's go see what my stepdad's doing see if he's home yeah guys you can see when you're up at 28 miles per hour I'm pedaling kind of fast might want to change the free wheel on this so that you have a nicer experience with pedaling so you're pedaling more like this at this speed uh, maybe that's one thing I'll do in the future if you guys want to see that video maybe I'll make one so we are about seven miles in and the battery is around 74 percent right now but I've been going up some pretty good hills and been pushing it to its limit as far as speed goes so this is going to be the least I'm going to get out of this bike overall we'll see how far we get All right, guys, so we just stopped here to take a break. We're about 10 miles in. It says 10.77 miles on my GPS, and on the bike, it says 9.9. .9. So, like I said, every 10 miles you go on the Magic Cycle, you're probably going to get an extra uh, 0.8 miles or so actually out of the bike, according to my testing. But, real quickly here, since I stopped, we're going to go over some of the specs and details of this bike and show you some more about it here so this phone mount does no, not come with it but you could get one of these with the amazon affiliate link that i have below to the amazon affiliate store if you guys are interested they're only about seven or eight bucks but next to the right hand grip here you have the controller for turning the display on and off with the power button on top the info button in the center then you're up and down for your pas levels which is adjustable in your settings the hand grips are a little bit firm they're very hard but they are nice and they're nice and big which gives you a good grip and so i kind of like them i wish they were a little bit softer it does have an included bell 
in the hand grip, which is really nice to see. A lot of bikes don't include a bell, and I, that's one of my favorite ones that are included in the hand grip. The brake levers here are rubber coated, which is really nice for your grip. On the front of the bike, you have mounting points here to mount a front rack. However, that front rack that they do sell is, I believe, currently around $90, and it's not even a basket, it's just like a platform, so that's a little pricey. The front light is a halo light. Well, looks like a halo light. Let me turn it on here. But you can see the outside ring does not glow, just the center ring. And it does produce a pretty decent square beam. I'll try to get a shot at night and put that in here. All right, there you go, guys. So you can see it is pretty decently bright at night, but it doesn't shine a whole lot directly in front of you if you have it shining far away. It would have been nice to see this light up around the outside and give you more of a glow right in front while still directing that beam far away. It has plastic fenders on the front and the rear, but they're pretty nice in my opinion. I'm not sure if these are P PVC or what, but pretty nice. Not gonna have to worry about them rusting or getting dinged up or making noise if gravel or whatever is getting up in there. We have the seven speed Shimano thumb shifter on the right side of the handbar with a half grip twist throttle and the bike's still on, just took off. <laughs> then one thing I really, really love about this bike, and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, I do have the brightness turned all the way up. Might have to show you this later at night. But it does give you a lot of information here, really easy to adjust. But I'll show you more on that once we get into the shade. These bags do not come on the bike, but these are the ones I use all the time. Like I said in the beginning of the video, bottle holder here I got from Walmart. They do give you a bottle holder attachment there, but just keep in mind, if you do mount a bottle there, it's gonna be hard to get your leg up and through for the step through. Now, if you've seen my live stream, I talked about this being a step through. It's not, in my opinion, a really a step through. It's more of a mid step because you still have to get your foot up kind of high to get it over, but it's really not bad. And in my opinion, for me being five foot eight, it's a lot better than the other bike. Front suspension here has preload on the left hand side and lockout on the right hand side. No problems with the suspension so far. It seems to be pretty decent. We have a Shimano TZ500 um, seven speed um, cassette in the back, which is the same on almost all my other e-bikes. It's 14 to 28. Shimano Altus derailleur, which is pretty nice to see that it's a little bit of an upgraded versus uh, entry level. You don't need nothing super good here anyway, guys, for an e-bike that has the hub motor in there. Now, if this was a mid-drive, you would want all this stuff to be a little bit more heavy duty here because all the power is gonna be running through your chain. We have a single-sided chain ring guard up here. No, nothing on the inside to protect that from coming off, but this will keep your pants nice and dry, and it is aluminum, it feels like. Well-go pedals, really nice, decent-sized pedals there. Foot seems to stay on them pretty good. Here's the rack that is included on the bike in the back. And this is one thing I talked about in my live stream. This bag does not come with it. You guys can get one of them on Amazon uh, with my link down below in the description. I'll leave a link for that. My favorite bag is the Rock Bros bag with the flip down panniers. This currently is probably my second favorite because it's kind of like the same material as the um, Rock Bros bag, but it, you know, it's like not quite hard but it holds its form nice and it's padded on the inside so it does give you a decent bit of storage there you can see gopro wallet all that um pretty pretty nice little case there for i believe currently around 30 dollars on amazon like i said i'll leave a link but what i wanted to mention and if you guys seen my live stream on this rack it's really close to the seat here and the further the seat comes up the more it comes back so you kind of got to keep your bag back a little bit this fits on there really nicely. This bag has clips that clip it underneath and it's kind of hard to get the clips because this is, rack is so close to the fender. Um, not a huge deal, but and I'd be okay with that, but I wish this rack was back just slightly maybe, maybe two inches, maybe slid down further on the frame here or this bar coming down. That way if you did have panniers, it would prevent them from going into that back tire there because you can't have them up too far because the seat and everything, um, just the way that it comes up. 
So this fits on there really well. My Rock Bros bag fits on there really well. No complaints. I mean, maybe I'm nitpicking the rack, but uh, I really wish they would have at least made these bars come out further. That way you could, I have a set of paneers that just clip on these rails here, and it would have been nice to be able to use this rail back here. I got to keep the clips up here because this is so tight to the rail here. Uh, 750 watt nominal motor in the rear of the bike. And it's using a 52 volt battery here. Controller is a 22 amp controller. I almost forgot there for a second guys, but yeah, it is 22 amp. I didn't take it off, but you could see the specs actually down on the other side of the controller. So that's 22 amps. Now guys, I changed the amps in the display to try to see if it made a difference and it didn't seem like it did. So I don't know if they have this bike locked at a specific amp rate, uh, rating or not. Um, feels pretty powerful in my opinion, but when I dropped it down to seven amps, it didn't seem like it made much of a difference. So maybe it's locked at a specific amperage. I don't know if it's at 22 amps or what, just keep that in mind. All right guys, so the seat on this thing is a Justex seat and it's pretty nice. I've ridden 10 miles today. Seems to be really good in my opinion. Now seats are gonna be different for everyone. I might upgrade it to the Cloud9 like my other bikes, but I'm probably gonna keep it on there because I like the low seat height of that. Even though I don't probably get the correct leg extension with the seat down low, I like riding in that position and you don't really need the correct leg extension with a motor in the back that helps you out. Battery has a three prong charge port here and they do give you a three amp charger for charging this thing up in I believe anywhere between three to six hours they said depending on how dead it is. For the brakes they do have mechanical disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors and what's weird is it does have a double sided um, caliper so they do squeeze from both sides almost like a hydraulic braking system but they're still mechanical so that's nice to see that they do squeeze from both sides however I do want to mention that they do still seem a little bit noisy. I thought I had them adjusted pretty good, but they are still a little bit noisy. So I either have some more adjustments to do or it's the type of brake pads that they are using. This one's integrated nicely down in here inside the frame, which is nice. It has a nice adjustable kickstand there. All right guys, so overall pretty nice bike in my opinion, but we're gonna hop on this thing, go a few more miles. It's still got about seven miles to go till I get back home. But I'm gonna go ride around a little bit first, see what kind of battery life we can get out of this thing. And I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Don't forget to use my coupon code if you guys wanna pick one of these up. And like I said, as a disclaimer, I will make a small commission if you guys do use that code. And currently, as of me filming this video with that code, you can get the bike for $1,249 and it will be shipping in October of 2021. Cruising through the hay fields. Suspension's taking them bumps nicely. We're right over those bumps nicely, guys. Test is very hard to do one handed, guys. <laughs> All 
right guys we're 16 miles in it says 38 percent battery left and by no means have i been taking it easy on this bike i've been pushing it to its limits going through some grassy fields through some hay fields up and down a dirt trail jumping it well to some extent <laughs> uh, and just really been putting a good test on this bike guys and it's been doing really well right now throttle only still hitting 25 miles per hour 26 so i'm gonna go ahead and start heading back home guys we're gonna see it should be right over 20 miles when i get home at least so that's what I'm hoping for. Hey guys, another thing I forgot to mention is it does have a rear tail light and it's also a brake light, which also works when you don't have the lights on. So that's nice. Even if your lights aren't on and you pull the brake lever, I can't reach it and show you guys right now, but it does uh, light up. And another really nice feature, my phone's down to 29%, is on the bottom of this thing, there is a USB port. If I can get it plugged in there we go so plug it in there plug it into my phone yep phone's charging and you actually see a little usb icon right there to let you know that something is charging from the battery so that's awesome i wish every bike had a usb charge port all right guys this is the one of the steepest hills on my route this is an 18 degree slope shift down the one just to help it out a little bit no problem guys right up it and my battery level is down to 34 percent so that's nice still drawing 891 watts so still getting full power well at least 900 watts of power out of the battery and controller so that's really nice not really limiting me much yet and we are 19.1 miles into it on the bike display and 20.7 miles on the GPS a couple more hills to go up all right guys this is the last long hill before my house and we're gonna see how it goes up it I'm at 22% on the battery right now and it's still giving me 895 watts so once you get down to around 20%, it might start limiting you a little bit. But it's pulling me right up this, and I'm in seventh gear, full throttle, PAS3. So I can still downshift yet, and I'll have plenty of power to get me up this hill. No problem at all. And I'm 23.38 miles into the trip right now. All right, I'm off the throttle now, guys, and still going uphill around 800 watts. I could give it the throttle and peak it out at 900. So yeah, guys, overall, pretty impressed with the power of this bike and 20-some uh, mile trip today. No problems at all, and I was putting a pretty good beating on it. All right guys, so I ran the battery down to 10%. That's what I'm currently at. On the trip meter of the display, we are at 24.8 miles and on GPS, 27.16. So no doubt I could still probably get a few miles out of this, but I'm not gonna push it too much further. For one, cause it's been a long day and I'm hungry. And two, I really don't wanna drain the battery down till it cuts out because that's really not good for it. So I would say pretty good battery life out of this thing in my opinion for 27 miles of me going up all them hills flying down that dirt road a lot of throttle even when i was pedaling most of it was just the motor doing all the work unless i was going up hills i was putting a little bit of effort into it because i didn't want to burn anything out but i could tell you guys i was not putting a tremendous amount of effort in at all at any time it pulled me right up those hills no problem and it's still able to pump out i think it was saying 800 and some watts but we'll go down this little hill here this is the one that i normally test in all my videos and we're going to try it again now at 10 percent and see how much power this bike has 
going up it with just 10% power. And we'll see what the wattage drops down to on the display. All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna stay in gear seven and I'll downshift as needed, but let's just try throttle only. See what we got, 873 watts, 16 miles an hour, 870 still, 868, and it's getting a little sluggish, eight miles an hour, seven miles an hour, but still pulled me up at no problem throttle only. And that's at 10% battery life. So yeah, guys, this, this thing really goes pretty good. And I think that's because of the 52 volt battery even when it gets down to 10%, you still got a pretty decent voltage. This thing's still cruising pretty good, guys, even at 9% battery. Still able to hit 20 some miles per hour. Just trying to get the mileage up there a little bit further just to see. I was hoping to try to hit 20 or uh, 30. I just hit 28. And again, guys, just to remind you, I'm 165 pounds on this test and a lot of hills. All right, guys, I had to keep going until I hit 30 miles. I'm now at 30.1 miles. Battery is down to 7%, so definitely got at least 30 miles. If I can get that around here on all these hills, I have no worries about getting way more than that on the bike trail. So definitely enough power and range for me because I got to tell you guys, I'm pretty beat after this ride. I'm, I'm tired, my back's hurting, and that's not because of the bike. It's just because it's been a long day out on it. <laughs> one thing i might do is put a suspension seat post on here or maybe my cloud nine seat but like i said the seat is pretty comfortable uh so we'll see i normally don't ride 30 miles in a trip normally anyway so i might not need it one thing i want to show you guys though let's go ahead and menu and check out and see one of the settings that you can change here oh, i should have went a little further i'm almost at 30 0.5 miles so if you hold the plus and minus down in the display you can go into your settings and you could change under advanced it's for it to show you instead of percentage it will show you voltage so let's set that there and it was at seven percent and it's at 44.4 volts so i would say close to around 40 volts would be about pretty dead but that's something that I wanted to I was curious about of what voltage it would be when it battery was pretty low I could probably get a few more miles out of this on level ground especially if I was helping pedal these last few miles I just went throttle only and you could see there 27.9 miles on the display so the display mileage is a little bit off compared to the mileage on the GPS on the phone but I think that was a pretty good test guys I think it was pretty fair a lot of hills tested the power of this bike pretty good i'd be really curious about putting this head to head with my other two 750 watt motored bikes um, actually i have three other 750 watt motor bikes so maybe i'll put them head to head and we'll see which one comes out on top i'll have to find some friends that are comparable in size and weight and maybe take them up some hills and see which one's better and if you guys want me to maybe throw in the electric xp in there too even though it's a 500 watt motor let me know down in the comments maybe that's a test i'll do also so thanks for watching guys and don't forget if you want one of these bikes they're currently on sale and you can use my hundred dollar off coupon code down in the description to save yourself 100 bucks and currently like i said this bike is 12.49 with the coupon code now by the time i get this video out there maybe the price will have one up i can't guarantee it but just check it out and if you guys think this is the right bike for you, go ahead and get one. And if not, stick around, stay subscribed because I'm sure I'll have many more to come, many different bikes to review. So thanks for watching guys. You guys are awesome. And I will see you all around on the next one.